the, I'll, I'll start in reverse order. Why now? Well, I've been trying for three years to do this interview. Um, the US government prevented me from doing it by spying on my text messages and leaking them to the New York Times. And so once I discovered that that was happening and I confirmed it was happening and they admitted that they did it, then I was totally determined, monomaniacally dedicated to doing this interview, not simply because I want to know uh, what Vladimir Putin is like and what he thinks about a war that is resetting the world and really gravely damaging my country's economy. The, I'll, I'll start in reverse order. Why now? Well, I've been trying for three years to do this interview. Um, the US government prevented me from doing it by spying on my text messages and leaking them to the New York Times. And that spooked the Russian government into canceling the interview. So I've been trying to do this, but my country's intel services were working against me illegally. And that enraged me because I'm an American citizen. I'm 54, I pay my taxes, I obey the law. And there was no expectation in the America that I grew up in that my government and its intel services, NSA and CIA, which were always outwardly focused on our foreign enemies, would be turned inward against American citizens. And I'm shocked by that, and I'm infuriated by that. And so once I discovered that that was happening, and I confirmed it was happening, and they admitted that they did it, then I was totally determined, monomaniacally dedicated to doing this interview, not simply because I want to know uh, what Vladimir Putin is like and what he thinks about a war that is resetting the world and really gravely damaging my country's economy, but also because they told me I couldn't on the basis of illegitimate means um, and for no really clearly stated justification. And I thought that can't stand. I don't, I wanna live in a free country. I was born in one and I'm gonna do whatever small thing I can do to maintain um, you know, the society that I, 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 okay. Sir, I love. You are known to be pro-Trump, anti-Biden. What is truthful in this? And you went to Putin because you are pro-Trump and anti-Biden? Um, I mean, my views are not very interesting. Uh, I would, I'm not sure how I'd characterize them. They're changing as quickly as the world itself is changing. And I, as a matter of principle, I, I think that, you know, that your views should change when the evidence changes and assumptions that you had in the past are proven wrong. That has ha happened to me virtually every month of my life. If you pay close enough attention, you can rate your own performance, just as if you're betting on sports. You know, I lost that one. And when you do, when it turns out that the things you thought were true were lies, you should admit it. So what are my views? I'm not certain. Tell the truth is my main view. And I plan to do that to the best of my ability. So. Um, Trump played no role in this whatsoever. There's a, obviously an election in my country coming uh, to fruition in November. I have no idea what's going to happen. I think that the current administration is very obviously incompetent and the, the president is senile. That's not an attack. Everyone knows it. Um, it has now been confirmed, I, I, I would say, this week uh, in, in the report that you're all familiar with. But, um, and that's very sad, but it, it had sort of nothing to do with the interview. I wanted to interview Putin because he's the leader of a country that the US government is sort of at war with, though not in a, in a declared way.